1,000 days. That's how long it's been since the family last saw their loved one, Desiree Ferris. The then 18-year-old disappeared in 2017. Only on 41 Action News, reporter Sarah Plake spoke with her family today. And Sarah, there's still something that's giving this family some hope. Yes, they were able to map out all of her pings, her cell phone pings, and they haven't released this information publicly yet. But one of the last places Desiree's phone pinged was off of this tower here behind me. It's off of 43rd and Washington Avenue in Independence. But after this, where she went from there 1,000 years or 1,000 days ago is unknown. I, got <laughs> I just want her home. But as every day that goes by, there's less and less chance that it's gonna have a good outcome. 1,000 days have passed since anyone has heard from Desiree Ferris. She was 18 then, on May 2nd, 2017. I remember it clearly. I remember getting up that morning. I didn't really sink in that anything was wrong until the next night when I looked on my Verizon and seeing that all phone activity, everything stopped that morning of the second. But it's Desiree's phone activity that gives the family hope. We were able to get the pings. Um, you know, I emailed her detective and begged him to let us have the pings. They put the pings on a map. These are some of the last areas Desiree could have been. Her phone pings off a tower at 43rd and Washington Avenue in Independence at 314 a.m. on May 2nd. We figure out the distances. We figure out where around those pings somebody could have possibly left her. And we go and search the areas. That's how we do it. The family also got another person's pings and noticed the two phones ping alongside one another until her phone shuts off. That person is outlined in court records as being one of the last to see her alive. We have found nothing of Desi. So what do you do with that? You can't. You have to keep your mind in the mindset that she's still out there. And that's why we keep doing what we do. Liberty Police declined our request for an interview, but they said that this investigation has progressed significantly. They said that they've tried to question people who they believe know where Desiree is at, but those people have invoked their right to remain silent, so that means they can't be officially questioned. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.